Hey, how's it going everybody? So I got a new product to review today. This one is going to be a clock. And looking at the box, this thing is a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be when it was coming. Uh, so I already opened it, started playing around with it a little bit to kind of get an idea. But here it is. I will take you down to a close-up, show you a little bit more about it, and then I'll show you the how to use it and everything. So I'll show you the contents of the box here real quick, what all comes in here. We have the large clock. We also have a remote control. We have a power adapter where you can plug into the wall. I just wanted to show all of that real quick. Now if I show you the back of the unit here real quick, you can see the buttons there on the left side so you can control it right there. We also have a little kickstand where you can actually just stand it right on a, a desk or a shelf, whatever you want to do there. We got a couple different holes where you can mount it on the wall with a couple screws. We also have a speaker there on the bottom for the uh, alarm we have over here we got batteries for backup power plus you'll plug in the adapter there as well there's also a switch for dimming and brightening so you can make it brighter and dimmer you could also do that from the remote as well which i'll show it it also has a sensor on it for temperature and you can change that from fahrenheit and celsius i will be using fahrenheit personally so for the power cord you're just going to plug it in in that little compartment and then once you have it plugged in you're just going to run the cord through that little slot and then you'll be able to put that tray right over it and it, the cord will come out from underneath all right so i got the clock all mounted up we can go ahead and take a look at it so we do have the controller we don't have to actually touch the clock itself and you know we got our controller here i don't know who would want to have to get behind that all the time anyway so first off, we have, it, let's say it's late at night, you don't like this glare, you have this in your bedroom, you want it to be darker, you can hit the on-off light and it will turn dark. So you don't have to worry about that. And then you can turn it back on. It's gonna give you the time, the day of the week, the temperature plus the date, which is really cool. And then you also have other features too, like you've got your timer. Oh, no, wrong button. So you got an enter, exit timer, middle button. So we have our timer. I forgot that I set a timer for 20 hours, I think is what it was. Uh, but you can set a timer with actual countdown or you could do count up. So if you just want to time something or let's say you have an event in nine hours or you got an event tomorrow, whatever it might be, you can just set that timer to remind you beforehand. And then to clear it, minute seconds, and that will clear it out. And then uh, the other stuff you could do, let me exit the timer here. There is an alarm function on here, and I'll play the alarm. Which the alarm will go much longer than that if you have an alarm set. That's just more of a demo. The other thing is that you can dim and brighten it. It may not be quite as apparent on the camera because it's trying to compensate for that. Uh, you could also go to... or you. When it came to me, it was already set with the right date, the time, and everything. But if you need to change it, there is a set button. You could go in there. You could change the times and everything. But it, it seemed like it was already set up for it. I don't know if... I mean, it's not connected to anything. So they must have just had a specific time. Uh, if You know, if you want to go to your alarm, you could set the alarm. There's also a couple different features when it comes to the alarm. So we'll go to set... Then you have 1E, 2E, and a 3E. And the way that that works is the 1E is Monday through Friday. So if you want to set an alarm at, say, 7 a.m. to go off every single day, Monday through Friday, you could do 1E. Uh, if you want it to be, you know, weekend only, you could go to 3E and etc. So it's kind of a cool little feature for that. And let's see, let me get out of here. So pretty much that's it. it. Also with the temperature, you can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Um, I think most of us go by Fahrenheit. Not too many of the people that watch my videos do Celsius. But uh, anyway, this is the clock. I mean, it's pretty huge. It's a lot bigger than what I expected actually, but it makes it super easy to see. Uh, I would say even if you have to wear glasses and you're half blind, you can still see this clock. It's a good size. And it does work. It gives you all the functions you need. With it being the red light, it's not going to bother you as much if you do have it on while you're sleeping compared to like a blue light or one of those other lighter colors. But anyway, that is the clock. Thank you for watching.